Hello and welcome to Conversations with Carol. This is my first go around at a live videotaping. So it's going to be short and sweet, but um, I hope informative and a lot of fun. This is my Scottish dude. I will be painting him a la prima. And I think the main takeaway for this little session is how to paint in one sitting. One go around without letting the paint dry and how to leave your brush strokes alone. You put them down and play with them, but we're not going to spend a lot of time editing things out or blending. We're just going to have fun with direct painting onto a canvas. Thank you and let's go. Okay, now we want to cover the canvas, the whole canvas. At this time, just get it covered and don't worry about brush strokes that are not even. We just want to quickly and loosely cover the canvas. This is what I do. I like to have fun and loosen up this way. Work out the kinks. It's good for arthritis. You're all good. Okay, now I'm going to go to my Burt Umber or Raw Sienna and just rough in the proportions. Get the head tilt. Right now, the top of the head, the line down for the nose, the general area. Um, we want to figure out the top of the head about where that would be. And then halfway down are the eyes and then the bottom of the nose will be between the eyes and the chin. And then a little line, a mark for where the upper lip is and the lower lip. A rule of thumb, we are going to block in the shadows. We want to make eyes, nose, upper lip, and bottom lip are important areas to look for, for concent concentrated shadows that will be your guide towards other features. And once we get those in the proper place, hopefully we will map out from there and the other features and shadows, the ears, the forehead, where the hat sits, it should all fall in place. But guess what, if it doesn't fall in place, you can just wipe it out with your magic little paper towel. At this stage, because we're laying it in very thin with turpentine, turpenoid, um, just very little medium, and um, we're trying to map out our way here. It's, very, it's a very important stage, actually. You don't want to rush through this stage. This is the stage that I always get ahead of myself because I love color and I put on too much paint, too much color, too soon, too fast. So I'm just trying to map it out now. At this stage, I'm putting on the lights. He looks like Mr. Gorilla Man at this point, but not to worry. Every portrait or most paintings go through an awkward, ugly stage. That's okay because as you add, you're going to be making corrections and adding as you go. You're finding your way out. I'm putting on the highlights. I'm coming back in with the mid-tones, which will be a little bit in between. You can see my painting now. There's many corrections. The nose needs to move, be moved over, and the lips and the eyeballs. But we are going to make these corrections. Not to worry. Not to worry. I'm just showing you my good, bad, and ugly. OK, here we are. We are just about done. I'm going to finish up the background. I'm quite pleased with how he turned out after moving the nose over, the eyes over, the mouth over. That's about it. I had to move everything over. So it's important to show you the, um, the mistakes, I think, because they can be fixed all a la prima, wet into wet, in basically three hours. The magical um, modern day way of just time lapse and going forward to this stage because I hope to do this again. And um, we just ran into long, uh, long, monotonous hours of me adding more paint and redrawing the nose so that he was more turned. I cut in the cheekbone here and just had a good time playing around with his whiskers. That was a lot of fun. 
So here I'm just covering the back of the canvas a little bit. I felt like the, um, oh, the phalo blue with touch of purple and a little bit of raw umber combined was a nice contrast with his skin and his, his hat. So um, I'm going to just play around with the background. I'll see you again with Conversations with Carol. Thank you so much for viewing. Bye-bye.